This is just a quick video to show where the fuse can be found on a Zip Series battery. So you need to gain access to the four screws on the base of the battery here. I've got a Phillips head attachment into a power drill and a pair of pliers and we'll begin by removing these four screws. Once all four screws have been removed, you can take the casing off and you'll notice that there is a fuse that's attached to the side of the battery here. So we'll slide the battery out a little bit and we'll remove the tape that's holding the fuse in position. Now there is a cover that goes over the top, so you may need some pliers, other times you can just do it with your hands. And that is your fuse there, so you want to check to ensure that the bridge is complete from one end to the other. You can take the entire fuse out to inspect it and the bridge should go across. If there's a break in that bridge, then you're going to need a replacement fuse. Um, and then you can just install the replacement like so and then putting the cap back over, placing the fuse back against the battery and then fixing the tape where it was originally and then sliding the battery back in to the housing and then fitting the base. So you might find that some will have a seal that will need to be uh, fitted back into position. This one doesn't. So we can just start by screwing it back together again. So we'll put one screw through. Just until firm. And then I'll do the opposite side. Flip it around and fasten. until firm, and then the final two. When tight, you should notice that the seal is quite tight around the whole base of the battery there.